It's been nearly two months, but still no sign of a missing Missouri trooper. In August, Trooper Fred Guthrie Jr. and his dog Reed disappeared. They were patrolling floodwaters on Highway 118. As Jake Peterson reports, dry weather has renewed the search. Effort. The summer flooding is nearly gone off of Highway 118, but you can see the damage is still here. This is Highway 118, and those fast-moving currents just washed away the roadway. This is also where Trooper Fred Guthrie had his patrol truck on August 1st. He went missing on that day, but troopers are still here searching for his body. It was a long summer for these troopers. They believe these fast-moving flood currents swept away Trooper Fred Guthrie and his dog. Teams searched for weeks in these conditions, but now... The water's receded. It's exposed the, the ground, the terrain. Conditions are changing, and they're a little more favorable. Hundreds of acres of destroyed farmland are now a maze for troopers. Sergeant Sheldon Lyon says about 20 searchers are looking in this newly formed pond and in farm fields with metal detectors. Nobody would have uh, wanted this to uh, uh, play out this way. It has, and it's what it is, and, and we are determined. Troopers found Guthrie's canine Reed a few days after they disappeared, but the two-month-long search by air, land, and water has turned up nothing. All of us locals have been following it. It's a very sad story. Army veteran Tony Bragg is hoping, praying for a recovery, but he believes the chances are slim. Uh, the water was so violent and fast through there that he could have washed a long ways. I hope they can find the remains just so the family can have closure, but everyone's very skeptical. But even skeptics can be wrong. He is uh, someone that we're not going to leave behind, and, and we're here to make that effort, to make that recovery. Troopers say the local community has been very supportive. In fact, a gas station down the road even donated $1,100 to this search effort. Reporting near Mound City, Jake Peterson, NBC Action News. Well, troopers have a support fund set up at the Bank of Weston for Guthrie's wife and children. You can donate. You can find information at NBCActionNews.com. Just click on News.